going to highlight my outer eyes. These I keep my extra skincare and beauty products in these. So I just went in and blended it together with the new Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara and Intensify Me Eyeliner. I had a really hard time working. Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. We've been having so much fun doing makeup recently that I thought it was time for a skincare video. So you can see, no makeup, clean face today. We are gonna go through and test out the Saturday Skin No Bad Days Kit. This is a K-Beauty line, so we're gonna talk all about Korean skincare, so I hope you'll hang out with me for that. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button, and let's get started. First of all, huge shout out to at Makeup Lover 02273 over on Instagram. I won this in her giveaway. I will link it over here if you want to see all the goodies that I got. So I have not tried very many things from Saturday Skin, and I have been so excited to try this kit out. So I'm going to try it as a first impressions today. And if you want to see my full impressions kind of later through the weeks and months as I use it, definitely find me over on Instagram. It's at Marina Cole Beauty. So you can see kind of how it's wearing on my skin, how I like it, if I'm noticing good changes back changes all that kind of fun stuff you can see over on Instagram things like this annoying pesky pimple how it does to fix those types of things I will give you all the details as I get into this kit let me just talk you through it this retails for $39 over on Sephora sorry to be loud while I get this out of the packaging but we're gonna talk about them quickly here and then we're gonna jump over to my bathroom so we can try them out and see what we think if you like this bow, I will link the small company down in the description box. I think it's so important to support small companies. You can use code MARIA15 to get 15% off of your order for these. Definitely check them out. They're, of course, great for kids and toddlers. I think they're mostly meant for kids and toddlers, but why not make them work for grown-ups? I am all about it. The first thing in this kit is the Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. This is packed with papaya and bromelain to help remove impurities. So that's basically your cleanser. Now I would use this as the second step in my double cleanse routine. I always would go in and take my makeup off first and then go in with a cleanser to actually just wash my face. So I would use this as the second step. The next step is the Daily Dew Hydrating Essence Mist. Obviously these are small sample sizes, which is great if you're looking to try some things out, see how it does on your skin before you go and purchase full sizes. You could probably get a month's worth out of most of these products, just so you can see how it goes. Hit refresh, concentrated extracts of kiwi and grape, quench and nourish, drinks, gen I can't talk, drenching skin in a veil of moisture. So we will try that. It seems like you could do it as part of your skincare routine and also throughout the day, just to freshen things up for sure. The next thing is the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. It says brighten up, date seed extract illuminates and refreshes the area around the eyes. So it's going to be really nice as an eye cream. And the last thing is the Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. This lightweight formula still packs a punch. Avocado protein extract strengthens skin's own moisture barrier, sealing and hydration to protect and soften the skin. So first thing we got to do, of course, is use that cleanser. So let's jump over to the bathroom and get started. All right, beauties, here we are in my bathroom to do the cleanser step of the skincare routine. So this is the Rub Adept Refining Peel Gel. Now, it's interesting that it's called a peel gel. It says to cleanse and then pat dry your face. So yes, it does say do a cleanser before this. Like I said, this would be the second step in your double cleanse routine. So I already washed my face before this video knowing that, so we are good on that step. We can go into this. It says gently apply to the face and rub in circular motions for one minute. Rinse clean with lukewarm water. Just to make sure we're using it correctly, since I did wash my skin a little while ago, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my skin, pat it dry, and then go straight into this like the directions say. Pat dry. It is interesting that you put this on a dry face. So when this comes out, if you can tell, it's got these little blue scrubbers in there, exfoliators, I would maybe presume. Not much of a scent, that's good. I don't think you need a lot in your skincare routine. Okay, so it is definitely kind of an exfoliant. I can feel it peeling against my skin, which is good. I haven't exfoliated in a couple days. This does feel gentle enough to use every day. I probably wouldn't use it in the morning and the evening. If you have more sensitive skin, I definitely recommend maybe just using this as an exfoliant a couple times a week and then using a different, more gentle cleanser in between those days. But if your skin is like mine, it likes exfoliation, I could probably use this every day. Just avoid twice a day. So if you can see on my fingers, you can see the little peelies 
coming off, that's probably product, mixed in with the outer layer of my dermis coming off from my skin, which is satisfying, but also gross. You can also, I'm gonna get up close and personal here, you can also see it on my face. This reminds me of when I use the Tula probiotic exfoliating pads. I can link that up here as well of the nice kind of smoothness it gives my face, but you get these little peelies off as well. So let me want my face, dry it off, and we'll see how my face feels. Okay, yes, my face feels super smooth, really good after that exfoliator. So I'm excited to get the rest of those products on my face, see how they all work together. So let's head back over and try the last three. All right, now that we've got our skin all nice and clean, let's go in with the Hydrating Essence Mist. It does say to use as part of skincare routine in between your cleansing and your essence step can be used throughout the day over makeup. If you're not familiar with Essence, Essence is a step in the 12-step Korean skincare routine. It's before serums. It's almost even a little bit lighter than serums. It's really great to use. Um, so I guess this is just telling you to use before that if you do that step. So this is just very refreshing. I'm not getting a particular scent, which is good. You don't really need skincare to be scented in my opinion. Um, it's just nice and light. It could be used, it says, um, throughout the day over makeup. I don't think it's claiming to be a makeup setting spray, but it certainly could be used throughout the day to just re-moisturize. It is, you know, settling down pretty quickly. My face doesn't feel too wet. It didn't come out too much of like a water gun to the face. Um, which is nice. So next we have that wide awake brightening eye cream. Apply cream to the tip of your ring finger, dot in a C formation to the under eye. Use a tapping motion for maximum absorption. Let me get a little bit of this out. So that's what it looks like right there. Again, just the lightest of scents, barely. So as with any eye creams, you just want to tap this around in a C. You don't want to drag your eyes one way or another under your eyelids. This is the thinnest skin on your face. And if you pull your eye cream every day, you're just pulling the wrinkles into your face. So do this tapping motion. That is absolutely what you want to do. You want to push the cream into your skin, not pull it across your skin. That is just really good to get into that practice as early as you can so you don't cause wrinkles when you are trying to prevent them or get rid of them. So this is going in really nicely. I did use quite a large amount so that we could see it. But there we go. Lastly is the Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. I do love this container. I'm sure um, it would look really cute just sitting out on your vanity. It looks intentional. It does come with this seal on it here. So let's pop that off. Ooh, I dropped the lid. So that is the cream inside. Let's just get a little bit out. So there we go. It's got about the same texture and scent um, as the eye cream did I would almost call it unscented which is good again you don't need that extra scent um, same with the eye cream just try to press it into your skin you shouldn't really be pulling on your skin press it as much as possible to avoid pulling wrinkles into your skin so this feels really nice it's going into my skin it does feel like a heavier cream which for me being fall going into winter is really good i tend to use a heavier cream over the winter and a lighter cream in the summer i also use a more heavy cream at nighttime than i do in the morning when i'm not putting on makeup um, just to keep my skin completely hydrated overnight but it already is just in the few seconds i've been talking setting down into my skin so that if i go lay down on my pillow in five minutes you know if you're doing your skincare routine right before bedtime um, so you don't just lose all that onto the pillow. It is already settling in. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel like it's just sitting on my skin. So that's definitely a perk. So first impressions, I definitely like the set. I think um, that I'm going to continue liking it. I'll use it for the next month or so. Again, check my Instagram. It's at Marina Cole Beauty. I'll post updates on how I like it, how my skin likes it, um, and whether it really is worth your money. I think that getting a kit like this for high-end skincare 
um, is always a good idea. So you can make sure that it matches with your skin well before you go full in with the whole line for high-end products. So this set would be really great, especially with Christmas coming up. It's really great as a Christmas present, a stocking stuffer, or of course, just a snack for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, beauties, let me know if there's any other skincare sets or reviews you'd like me to do. I always like trying new products. So if you have a favorite, write it on the comments and let me check it out. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.